Hey, what's going on, guys? Brant here with CPC Bodybuilding, the home of men's classic physique. I am here with two-time natural world champion and IFBB pro Kendall Richmond. Kendall's just coming off of a 2023 Arnold Amateur overall win, getting ready to debut here at the 2023 Pittsburgh Pro in men's classic physique. Kendall, what has been your approach this prep compared to the Arnold Amateur prep? Uh, <clears throat> so my approach with this prep, uh, I was a little more hungrier, I would say. Um, I, I like big opportunities like this. So with the weight cap being higher as a pro, I wanted to make sure that I took advantage of it by coming a little bigger. Uh, just things, a lot, a lot of things were different. Cardio was a lot higher. Eating was a lot higher. Um, the macro fluctuation was very different. Uh, just overall, I wanted to come in bigger, fuller, bubblier, um, more conditioned because I know guys coming to the show are going to be a lot more tight and hard and dense. So I wanted to make sure I kept my, my features that I have that I, I feel are more prominent, which is my shape, my symmetry, my bubbliness, I feel like are my strong points. So I wanted to keep that while coming in tight as a lot of these guys here who are, you know, of course on gear, I had to combat that by creating a formula with cardio and everything to come in the way I want to while keeping the size. So a lot more hungrier, uh, more, more determined. I usually am, but this one was like a little different just cause it's like, I be pro natural. I just kind of wanted to just make some, a standpoint of like, I can do this, you know? So. I yeah. love it, man. And so just kind of curious, what was the difference in weight between the previous show and then this one? Uh, the, the Arnold, I was 204. This one, I was 210. Uh, so um, six pounds, technically eight, but six pounds uh, as of right now, eight pounds this morning. Um, so, but when I gain weight, my frame pops more. Like my legs get a little more bigger. My upper body pops with my legs. My legs are very dominant, so... When I'm when I weigh higher, my chest everything's a lot more fuller. So I'm excited to see how I stand against some of the guys here who win pro shows, Olympians, stuff like that, uh, weighing the same way they do, but uh, of course naturally, and kind of seeing how my body can shape along with theirs. So yeah, so so that weight difference, we might see a bit of a fuller look here from oh, Kendall. Oh, definitely, yeah, yeah. So. Just curious, you know, you kind of came out of nowhere with yeah. the, the Arnold Amateur win, shocking the world, yeah. really just putting on natural bodybuilding and showing up in, in the NPC and the IFBB, showing that you can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with a lot of these guys. What's your goal for this show and potentially future IFBB shows, uh, you know, so, down the road? So my goal down the road is to is to get an Olympia qualification being natural. I think that's like a big, big deal. Um my goal, of course, every goal, every show I come into, I come to win the show. Um, this show, you know, I know it's stacked. I still am confident I can do really, really well in this show. Uh, no matter how I do, how I place, I know I brought a version of me that is better than I ever have brought. So, um, so, but I, I definitely would like to qualify for the Olympia in the IBB as, as a natural athlete. And that's going to speak a lot of volumes. I think it's going to be uh, provide a lot of hope to a lot of guys. It's definitely going to create a lot of noise, and I feel like it's something that people deem as impossible, which I like being the underdog. I like when things are impossible. I like when guys don't have me winning a show or guys don't have me placing a show just because, like, I'd rather be – I'm always under the radar, and I love it that way, just like hoodie, sweats. No one knows who I am, no coach, no sponsors on my shirt. Like, I like to just kind of prove that things can be done. So – I would love to get Olympic qualification as a natural athlete. So that's my like overall goal with being a pro at this point. You heard it here, guys. Goal is Olympia. Olympia or bust. Here from the natural disaster, Kendall Richmond. You guys need to tune in to this Pittsburgh Pro. You're not going to want to miss it. A crazy deep classic physique lineup, including Kendall here. Make sure you guys check out that stream. It's on npcnewsonline.com. I'll put that there in the description. Thanks for watching CPC Bodybuilding, guys. This guy might be the best natural bodybuilder alive. Kendall Richmond, a.k.a. the Natural Disaster, just won the Arnold Classic Amateur in Classic Physique, which now makes him an IFBB Pro bodybuilder. He also has won two world championships in the Natural Federation, the WNBF. And you can see why. 
Kendall has a complete physique, huge detailed arms, chiseled abs, a thick back, a full and round chest. His legs are massive. You can see the striations in his quad sweeps and his hamstrings. It is safe to say that natural bodybuilding is in good hands with Kendall Richmond. 2023 Pittsburgh Pro Classic Physic Athlete Kendall Richmond Posing Routine IFBB Pro is Kendall Richmond, who is a two-time world champion in the WNBF. He's been training for well over a decade, an unenhanced bodybuilder. And what makes Kendall so good is the pop that he has to his muscle. He has beautiful, beautiful muscle insertions, fantastic shape, just a very old-school classic look. I am a huge fan of Kendall, especially in that side chest pose and his front double bicep. I think his abs are some of the best in terms of insertions. They just really pop in every pose. He has very wide sweeping bubbly quads and just a just an awesome look from Ken. So we're working our way through the quarter turns right now. And what I really think is very apparent from the beginning is one Corey's conditioning is just so on point striated glutes feathering through the quads every detail you can see in the back is just there i mean you can it's an anatomy chart guys and then we see from kendall just lots of thickness i think his density is just one of the most classic things about him he just has that it factor when it comes to the way his muscle looks. Just a very incredible, beautiful, classic frame. So we're working our way through these quarter turns, like I said, and I really like Corey's width from the back. And now when you get in these side shots, you're gonna see what I mean when I talk about the abs with Kendall, just beautiful ab insertions. His chest is very, very nicely inserted as well. Just a great chest, full chest from Kendall. Now this front double bicep is a very interesting pose because I think you get three different flavors of the same thing. These guys all look very classic in their own way. I actually would go Muhammad in this pose, the guy in class A to your far right. I like Muhammad here because his lats and his waist are just so incredibly disproportionate, which is what you want. You want huge lats in a tiny waist and big quads to create almost like a cobra, like an hourglass type of look. And Muhammad has that. Beautiful arms to go with it as well. Very proportionate. And it's like his lats just insert like at the perfect spot. So for me, this is Muhammad all day. But... I think it's a great pose for Corey and Kendall as well. And I say this because one, Corey's quads are just so feathered and striated that to me that just blows the lower half out of the water for the other guys. But when you look at Kendall, his abs are just so defined and his arms are probably the best in this entire lineup. Though he does have huge quads, they're not quite as dialed in as the other two guys. Now, if we move into the side chest, you're gonna see something a little bit different. Now, I do think this is probably where Corey and Kendall separate themselves a bit from Muhammad. I think Muhammad isn't quite there with Kendall and Corey in the lower body, though he does have the upper body to hang with these guys. But I think what really separates Corey and Kendall here is Kendall has that density through the arms, the deltoids, and the chest. And Corey has that detail. You can see the striation in his glute right there. You can also see the hamstring drop. You can see all of the muscles in his quads. And Corey really just brought that condition. Again, that's what shines for me. 
So now we move into the back double. And this, for me, is a story of width up top for Corey. He just has a wider frame than the other two guys. And then Kendall has so much muscle in the glutes and hamstrings, so that's a good pose for him as well. Ab and thigh here. This isn't a pose that really stands out for me for any three of these guys. They're pretty evenly matched in the ab and thigh, but that's also not a pose where anybody really makes up or loses any ground. Favorite classic. Now, we're going to freeze this and look at Corey in the middle with that front lat spread. You guys cannot tell me that this is not the, the runaway winner with this pose right here. I think that front lat spread is just so beautiful. And then when we look at the hand in the air pose, I don't see that very often, but I really like that. Very unique touch. And now we get back into a front double. And I'm just going to highlight Kendall here. What I really, really like about this pose for him is, again, just the arms. The arms really shine for me here. I really like Kendall's arms and his quads. He may not be the most conditioned, but I'll be damned if Kendall does not have some of the best quads I've ever seen on an amateur, guys. They, they stand out. So now we're going to move into a back double bicep. A little bit of an interesting transition. You don't see a front double into a back double. That, that doesn't happen too often, guys. So now here, I really like Muhammad through the top line. Very, very solid. But I think the lower body is where, you know, Corey and Kendall really separate themselves, like I said before. Again, just the, the detail and the width that you see with Corey, for me, is next level. So I think here, really, what, what it comes down to is what flavor of classic you like. So the judges ended up going with Kendall. So Kendall Richmond is your new IFBB Pro and overall winner here. But I could understand why, you know, the judges had a really hard time deciding here. I personally and this is no knock to Kendall, I probably would have picked Corey as the winner simply because I think he matches a little bit more what the classic criteria is at the pro level, and that's width and conditioning and apologize guys are great amateur bodybuilders. Kendall now an IFBB pro and very well deserving of that. I think Muhammad is on the right track. He's probably going to get to that pro card at some point. He's won quite a few shows. I think he's won four amateur shows already. This guy might be the best natural bodybuilder alive. Kendall Richmond, aka the natural disaster, just won the Arnold Classic Amateur and Classic Physique, which now makes him an IFBB Pro bodybuilder. He also has won two world championships in the natural federation, the WNBF. And you can see why. Kendall has a complete physique, huge detailed arms, chiseled abs, a thick back, a full and round chest. His legs are massive. You can see the striations in his quad sweeps and his hamstrings. It is safe to say that natural bodybuilding is in good hands with Kendall Richmond. Thank you. Are, are you going to be around? Okay. Okay. This is like about as good as it gets, like natural pro bodybuilding right here. I actually just met Kendall. Thank, right thank, thank you, man. Like, this like pretty good. Uh, this isn't even good lighting. Like, it's crazy. Good. He's still looking well, awesome. Yeah, it took a lot of work to get these legs up. Yeah. I mean, a lot of work. How long was your friend? About four or five months, I would say. Four or five months? Strictly, yeah. like actual. Do you like, have really a coach or you do Actually, I'll be 23 in October. What? That's crazy. Hoy vamos a hablar de un tema que ha despertado bastante polémica dentro del culturismo natural. Ha sido la victoria de Kendall Richmond, campeón de culturismo natural durante dos años. ¿Por qué ha ganado en este Arnold Classic del 2023 en Amateur, en Classic Physique, convirtiéndose en un nuevo IFBB Pro? Y ya sabéis lo que esto significa. Los IFBB Pros normalmente son consumidores de esteroides. Y estamos hablando del probablemente mejor natural del mundo actualmente o de los mejores que ha conseguido ganar a otros amateur que no son profesionales pero sí que están bajo el uso de sustancias. 
Y claro, aquí surgen dos bandos, los que defienden que el límite natural y que el culturismo natural puede llegar más lejos de lo que se cree, y los que dicen que todo es una farsa, que falsea los controles, que es mentira y que es imposible que sea natural, se ha ganado en la IFBB. Kendall es un culturista de 1,80 y ha pesado 92 kilos en tarima con esta condición física que estáis viendo, 12 kilos por encima de su altura. Creo que en 2023 espero que ya hayamos dejado de lado lo de que tienes que pesar lo que mides y si pesas un gramo más no eres natural, porque es una tontería y una cuñadez de gimnasio no tiene ninguna base científica. No he podido encontrar una fuente fiable acerca de su edad, pero creo que tiene 27 años o más. Es buen posador, hace coreografías muy bonitas, sabe mostrarse bastante bien a los jueces. Y es que comparándolo con estos otros culturistas clásicos no desentona para nada. Tiene la cintura más estrecha que ellos, tiene bastante más pierna... Y ya sé que para muchos esto no va a ser creíble, pero tenemos que tener en cuenta que este tío es un caso entre millones, es probablemente el mejor natural actualmente. También tenemos que tener en cuenta que está ganando a amateurs, no son profesionales. Si ahora mismo él compitiese con profesionales seguramente no ganaría. Pero ojo, porque ha dicho que lo va a hacer. Dentro de no demasiado competirá en algún show profesional. Y si lo ganase podría ir al Mister Olympia siendo natural. Yo sinceramente creo que no lo va a ganar, que no tiene el nivel suficiente para competir con otros profesionales. Y también creo que ya tiene que estar cerca de su límite, no creo que pueda dar mucho más de sí. De todas formas, Classic Physique sería para mí la única o de las únicas categorías accesibles para un culturista natural de alto nivel que compita con no naturales. Obviamente Open no, porque ya estamos hablando de tíos que están 20 o 30 kilos encima de su altura y creo que no hay ningún natural que se acerque a eso actualmente. Los men's physique están demasiado grandes y los 212 pues más de lo mismo. Creo que la única categoría así que puede ser para que se cuele algún natural, como es en este caso, es Classic Physique debido al tallaje. Ya sabéis que hay una, un peso proporcional a la altura de los competidores que tienen que dar. Hay un límite. Voy a comentar algunas cosas de su físico que me llaman la atención. En primer lugar, el enorme tamaño de sus piernas. Tiene unos cuádriceps muy grandes y muy separados, pero es que el aductor también es tremendo. Su pierna no se ve nada vacía ni siquiera por el centro. Yo he visto que muchos culturistas naturales pecan bastante de tener este área sin hipertrofia, pero es que él la tiene muy bien hipertrofiada. Cuando se pone de lado le cuelga un muy buen femoral y cuando se da la vuelta más de lo mismo, están muy marcados y separados. Donde podría faltar un poco de chicha, sinceramente, es en los gemelos, creo que ahí podría meter más carne, pero no se ve para nada mal. Volviendo a la parte de adelante, tiene unos abdominales curiosos, es como que tiene cuatro abdominales, el del medio está como fusionado, no sé, es algo extraño, supongo que tiene que ver con su genética. Tiene un abdomen muy estrechito, tiene bastante marcados los oblicuos, el pecho está bastante abombado, de los hombros y la espalda no tengo gran cosa que decir, pero sí que quiero decir de sus brazos que me parece que tiene un pico de bíceps brutal y que tienen muy bonita forma. Adicionalmente diré que también creo que tiene bastante buen antebrazo. En cuanto a la condición física me parece buena, pero tampoco increíble, he visto algunos otros naturales que tienen literalmente la piel pegada al hueso. Que no se me malinterprete, quiero decir, tiene una condición bestial, pero creo que quizá fue algo más conservador con ese tema y decidió optar más por el tamaño para competir con estos no naturales. Tiene una forma de X brutal, súper clásica, una cintura muy estrecha, la caja torácica no me parece especialmente grande, creo que la cadera tampoco, tiene tanta masa muscular para la altura que tiene de 1,80, es difícil llenar eso siendo natural, que consigue unas proporciones brutales, literalmente es como un reloj de arena. Este tío pasa controles antidoping, compite en federaciones naturales, ha pasado mil pruebas, el polígrafo... Yo creo totalmente que puede ser natural y que ha podido competir aquí natural. Y lo que ha conseguido es un gran hito, ha ganado a no naturales. Él mismo presume de esto, dice que el límite natural es mucho más alto de lo que pensamos, que se puede, que se puede luchar contra los no naturales y dar la talla, etc. El consejo que os doy en este vídeo es que no estéis diciéndoos ni pensando que no se puede, no se puede, es que si soy natural es imposible, es que hay que usar química... No, sí se puede, se puede llegar muy lejos más de lo que se piensa. Si tú apuntas muy alto, quizá no llegues a tu objetivo, pero si te quedas por el camino ya habrás logrado algo muy grande. No sé si conocéis a Kendall, qué os parecía, pero sin duda traeré más vídeos sobre él porque me parece un referente para el culturismo natural. Espero que os haya gustado el vídeo, nada más por hoy, se despide Ares, nos vemos en el próximo. Thank you. Are, are you going to be around? Can I see the, can I see the legs? Okay. This is like about as good as it gets, like natural pro bodybuilding right here. I actually just met Kendall. Thank, right thank, thank you, man. Wrong, your posing is amazing, too, thank man. You. Like, it's like pretty good.
Um, this isn't even good lighting. Like, it's crazy. Yeah. You still look well, I nuts, it. it took a lot of work to get these legs up, though. Yeah. I mean, a lot of work. Damn. How long was your prep? About four or five months, I would say. Four or five months? Strictly, yeah. like, actual, like, Do you have millions. a coach or do you do yourself? Um, I did most of it myself. How old are you? 23. Ah. No. <laughs> In the block. Actually, actually, it's over. Actually, I actually, will be 23 in October. What? That's crazy. So, you gotta thank my mom and my dad for that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. I'm on the vlog? Yeah. Oh, I'm a fan. I'm a fan, guys. Follow Jeff. <laughs> Absolutely amazing. The level of muscularity that those guys bought, brought was absolutely incredible. I put it on my